We know of many stars in the cosmos that are categorized into many forms. You may know some stars as neutron stars, white dwarfs or red dwarfs. The list goes on and on. But which one of these is our sun? What can we call our sun? In this video, I am going to tell you just that. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about space, black holes and all that space stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't have to miss anything space related. Let's just cut to the point here. The sun is a yellow dwarf star. Yellow dwarf stars are also called G-type main sequence stars. These stars are a little different from the most commonly found stars in the galaxy, such as the red dwarfs. Although the yellow dwarfs are the same as the G-type main sequence stars, the name yellow dwarf is believed by some scientists to be a bad name for our sun. This is because you will hear many websites and people saying that sun is a yellow dwarf star. Our sun is not actually yellow in color. It is simply because of scattering of light that the sun appears orange, yellow or red. So you may ask, what is the color of the sun? The sun is without a doubt white in color. Here's a picture clicked from space, outside Earth's atmosphere. The sun is a tiny star. It is actually a dot if compared to other stars in the universe. But the sun is not even that small. It is a matter of fact that the sun is so bright that it outshines more than 90% of the stars in our galaxy. And our galaxy is very, very big. Our Milky Way is more than 100,000 light years wide. So you see, yellow dwarfs are not minute. They are really big, massive, and they give off so much light. The sun has a temperature of about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is hot enough to melt gold, platinum, steel, and even human bones. So you don't want to stay close to the sun. But the situation becomes worse if you go deep inside the sun. The center of sun's core can get as hot as 30 million degrees. The sun is heating up and will kill all the life on earth when it dies. It will engulf the earth by becoming larger and larger. But do not worry since this is not going to happen in about 5 billion years. And we have evolved from airplanes to spaceships in just about 50 years of time. So we might just have a chance of getting out of the solar system as quickly as possible. Because nothing is permanent. Not even the sun and not even the universe. Being such a beautiful star, the sun indeed is very very hot brutal and still a tiny star, which will take care of us for generations to come. If you want to donate and support this channel, you can do so with the links given down in the comments. You can also use the comment section to tell me which topic should I cover in the next video. So if you found this video to be interesting, do drop a like and subscribe to this channel. Until then, peace out.